Welcome back. The holidays mean a lot of entertaining and events, including Thanksgiving and, of course, Christmas coming up. As a host or a guest, what etiquette tips do you need? Here with the answer to that question is the president and founder of Etiquette Enrichment, Sally Plass. Sally, welcome to the show. Welcome. I'm so happy to be here. I love it. Merry Christmas. Well, Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas to you too. And we're just going to pick your brain right out of the gate. Good. Good. So, good. at the top of the show, we were talking about the Secret Santa. Okay, mm -hmm. what are some etiquette tips for the Secret Santa well, situation? Well, I had a, a, a couple of things to add to that. If the limit is $25, like you talked about, yes. don't decide that you're going to be really extravagant and bring in a $50 gift uh -huh. either. Ah. It goes the other way. Uh -huh. yes. Don't go under. Yeah. If, you know, don't get a $10 gift for your $20. Try to $25. stay within that $25 yes. price range. Yeah. Okay, yes, so is, yes. that, is, it, is it retail pricing or is it sale pricing? <laughs> well, that is a good question because you can get some really nice things I on know. sale mm -hmm. sometimes. Yep. And I would say just use your best judgment yeah don't you don't want it to be so extravagant like a hundred dollar gift that you managed to get for 25 right right so i would say try to find a 25 dollar value also you might want to ask is this going is this secret santa going to be a gag gift mm -hmm. or a joking gift or a true gift ah. but, you know a thoughtful gift right right and then you want, might want to check with that person and see what they like oh gotcha i mean through the grapevine or through a survey, whatever you use for your secret Santa. Sally, that's why I love when you're here. I learn <laughs> something every time yeah, you're right? here. I, I, I love it because uh, we talk about holiday parties and we have a lot of that going on, everybody mm -hmm. going to these events, and whether you're hosting or, or whether you're just going, you're here to give us some tips on what to do, what not to do. So mm -hmm. what is, I have a question. What is the biggest like, pet peeve that you have that you see people doing when you just want to say, stop doing that when they're <laughs> a guest? At a house that you have, are Ooh. you? You're not referencing that to me, are you? <laughs> <laughs> no implications there whatsoever. Maybe, no, I'm kidding. <laughs> One of my biggest pet peeves in any situation, any social event, is their dining etiquette, and it's particularly if someone crowds and they rush to go be the first one in line, <laughs> which I love to do, right. or if they pile their plates so high before everyone has been served. And then, you know, they decide they like shrimp. Yeah. They pile their plate full of shrimp. Maybe there's not a lot of shrimp left for yeah. all the others. Right. Take a smaller serving until everyone's been served. Um, the other thing is... It's like she's been spying on me. Uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> Just be a little bit more considerate there. Let everybody Just some so. Shrimp. I mean, holidays. I practically tackle people to get to the buffet table. I mean, really, it's crazy. So what are your top five? What are your top five etiquette tips for the holidays? Okay, so some of my personal... Pet, top five pet peeves yeah. would include etiquette tips, and that would be not responding to your RSVP on an invitation. Okay, all right. Someone going to an event mm -hmm. where they are not participating, they're grouchy, they really don't want to be there. Mm -hmm. Maybe they come late, or maybe they leave early, Yeah. and they don't really participate in the people and with the other guests that yeah. are there and the games, like if it's an ugly sweater contest, right. wear an ugly sweater mm -hmm. if right. it's a party for that, you know? Right. Or Instead of dressing really beautiful and when yes. everybody else is being silly, Goofy. you know, or something like that, it, it does, yeah. Join in on the awkward. fun, join yeah. in on yes. the vibe. Yes, or yeah. if you're going to play charades that night, mm -hmm. play charades. Right. You know, join in to whatever is planned for the event. So if your significant other then mm -hmm. isn't into that type of thing, then maybe they should stay at home. <laughs> maybe you should go by yourself. Is that what you're saying? <laughs> well, sometimes that is more fun, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> maybe for more fun for both of you, right, actually. Right. But if they, if you are going as a guest, yeah. say for instance with a date to a a, a work event, mm -hmm. don't go and grumble and complain. Mm -hmm. Go and mingle and you know have a good time. Right. You would never ever criticize anything at an event like that where ah. you're attending as a guest. Wow. Now she's spying on me. I know she's totally. <laughs> she shot that look right at you, Adam. She knows, she, why were you looking at me during that? <laughs> what are some other um, of your top five? Okay, so. Sometimes we will have like a potluck event. Yes. Or, and I've had this question asked of me Do I bring it on, bring my food, mm -hmm. my offering on a beautiful dish for the holidays? Right. Or do I bring it on a disposable tray mm -hmm. or in a disposable container? Mm -hmm. What if I need to leave early? Ah, what do you think? What yeah. should I do with my food? Right. You want to guess? What? <laughs> I, I, um, 
You leave Adam. it. I guess you leave it. What I, I, you leave would, it? I would say leave it, yes. I would say leave. Yes. Leave the food. Generally, you would always leave it. Now, if you brought it on a beautiful dish and you're worried about getting it back, you might want to think about getting a beautiful disposable container that you could leave. Right. And if you need to leave early, you would definitely need to let the hostess know what, you, what you're doing. I'm sorry, I'm going to have to, you know, get away from this party early. And I'm taking my food with me. <laughs> I'm taking it. I'm leaving my dish. Instead of asking the hostess to get another um, serving piece yeah. for you and take her away from the rest of the party. Right. That would be better. Right. Thank you so much, Sally, for all of your tips. We really, really appreciate it. <laughs> and everyone, thank you for joining us. All of your information is up on the screen for folks to find out more. Um, everybody always can use help with etiquette. Happy holidays, everyone. We'll see you tomorrow, okay?